Well, good morning, Colleen Foothills Church and friends. It's Pastor Stone with our Tuesday morning devotion here in the week of Easter. And we're going to be looking at Acts chapter 2 this Sunday, uh, where the Holy Spirit is poured out on the church. And the reason we're looking at that around resurrection is Christ says something really powerful in the Gospels. He says, it's better for you if I leave, which is hard to believe. I'd rather have Christ here who can heal me who can lead me, who speaks the very words of God, who is God. It seems better to have him. He says, no, it's better if I pour out the Holy Spirit on you. And I just want us to consider why he might say that. And it says in Acts chapter 2, when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like a blowing, like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. And they saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now, we're going to look at a little bit more of this, but a couple of things to notice here that Jesus says it's better to have the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And we see that it, that one of the reasons that's true is it says, suddenly the sound like a blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came and sat on each one of them. So this is calling to our minds the Israelites in the desert and the fire that they followed by night. And throughout uh, God's interaction with the Israelite people, he appears as a fire. Remember, he appears as a, a burning bush that's not consumed when he appears to Moses. And he leads them as a pillar of fire by night. And, uh, and fire consumes the sacrifices that are done on the altar in the temple. So what we recognize here is that God is saying something really powerful, and Jesus was echoing these words when he said, it's better for me to leave. He's saying, it is my hope. Uh, let's say it a better way. It is my stated goal, and I will accomplish this, that I will dwell now in each believer in the same way that I dwelt in the temple of the Old Testament. Now think about that. There was one place where God dwelt in the Old Testament. It was fire that stood over the temple by day. and It was a cloud, and then when it got dark, you could see the fire inside, and it was always there. When Moses went up on the mountain, it was covered in smoke, and God appeared as a fire, and he showed Moses his backside. But fire represents this is God's presence. And now, because Christ has come and because there has been a resurrection, Christ now is coming to dwell in each person individually. The power, the authority, the grace, the love that was pictured and was symbolized in the temple is now in each believer. And so now we can see that if God is in each believer, his presence is far wider than it was. You understand what I mean by that, than it was in the Old Testament, where you had to simply come to Jerusalem or come to the temple. Now he has come and he has spread out among all peoples. And, and it, God wants to have an intimate, personal, and powerful relationship with you. Now, one thing to explore is part of this picture being fire is he wants to purify us. Salvation is about repentance. And belief in Jesus Christ, turning from our sins and turning to Christ to trust him to have died for our sins. And the part of this fire is purifying us. God wants to dwell personally and powerfully inside of each of us, and he wants to purify us. But there's something else going on here, and that is that God wants to spread the knowledge of himself over all the world. We're told that they were singing in Jerusalem, God bring Jews from every nation under heaven. So every nation that was known is represented in this crowd that when the Holy Spirit comes in and falls on these people and they begin to speak in various tongues, they're not speaking in, in, in gibberish. They're speaking the languages of those people so that every nation can now hear the good news about Jesus Christ. He says we can all hear them speaking the wonders of God. God is saying you... I, I, I want to indwell you. I want to come down and be with you so that you can make my wonders known. How do we make his wonders known? By announcing and reveling in the work of Jesus Christ. What a powerful picture of resurrection, that Christ was resurrected so that he could then ascend and send the Holy Spirit 
to come and create a personal, intimate relationship with each one of us in Christ, to purify us and to send us out over all the earth, wherever their Christians are, to make known the wonders of God. Resurrection and Pentecost are hand in hand. They're one thing, and we rejoice in that this week. Look forward to being with you this coming Sunday. Join us for our 6.30 sunrise service or our two regular worship services about Easter at 8.45 or 10.45. Have a great day.